questions? Hi all, my name is Anna, I use they, them pronouns, and I'm realizing the 4th of July was just a few days ago, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, fuck America, first of all. Right, that's right. <laughs> Second of all, um, I was like going through TikTok, and like all I all I see on my TikTok right now are like fireworks, like hitting either people or houses, which I think is the most accurate representation of America right now. And oh Lord, I'm like the generation that grew up with Hamilton, like Hamilton the musical, and the fact that I get to vote in this next election between genocide and genocide, I don't want to! Who really decided to double it and pass it down? Anyways, um, enough stalling. I realize I only have like three minutes. Um, so this is a poem I wrote on the 4th of July. Woo. Please stand for our national anthem. Stand. <laughs> No God, only us, the people, fighting Woo! for liberation and justice for all. Woo! Oh, say, can you see that this land isn't even free? <laughs> Rather stolen and paid for with genocide, with genocide. And that we, the people, we, the huddled masses that Lady Liberty took the liberty to leave behind bars, we are tired of the American dream. A picture perfect practicality, a pretty white fence is put up to hold back picket lines of people power. We are living a nightmare. Uh... I am tired of praise. A prey I'm gonna be better than yesterday than the pain of problems of people playing as puppets, of presidents probably problematizing the puppets as the puppets, the public as purchases, a plenty pacifism just for a promotion. I refuse to be praised for being a public to public society. Can we see that this nation that this freedom is a facade and that this nation is burning and in order to give life we can't rely on pray prayers until we the people take action. I won't pray, instead, I'll organize. I won't bite my tongue just for the white man to go on with his. And if you were bringing, you would do it too. I've seen victories on papers that were losses in life. It's losses in spirit for a liberated future and a family corrupted for the colonial mindset of the white man's dream. I know hunger from empty stomachs, desire for justice that lasts for generations to come. And suddenly, it's here in these moments that I don't want to lose you too. It's us. We, the people, we are born of struggle. We are born of love, of that generational pain that I just want to try to move past. We are alive, living pictures of our past, of our ancestors cresting us with memories of there is a tomorrow, for we are the tomorrow, when America is burning, when our houses are gone, when we have nothing but hope in each other. And suddenly, it's looking like a riot. But a riot is only holding so much love for each other, to be willing to meet on the streets, sleep under the same shared sheets and to love so warmly that we never need fire. So this is an ode to our people for the fall of our star-speckled banner. Thank you.